welcome back again today to another interesting video so in today's video we are going to be making a baby bob dress okay if this is the first time of clicking on my videos please do not forget to like and share this video guys so if you want to learn how to make a bob dress please continue watching this video so with me here i have 10 years of tool here so which are folded nicely okay you want to make sure you fold your tool nicely so i have 10 years here i'm actually making this board dress for a three year old so i have my zip and i have my satin fabric i also have three years of satin fabric here and this is just the scrap fabric from the model okay so i'm just going to try to use it to make the upper body so this is scrap fabric from the model so and i also have some roses here to just to create a little effect on the dress so the first thing that you want to do you are going to make sure that you have a basic bodies drafted okay so i'm going to cut out my basic bodies as you can see i have my front neck is a round neck i can i use 2.5 by 2.5 2.5 inches wide and 2.5 inches deep okay and for the uh, back neck i want to have a a deep a kind of a deep v back neckline okay so you want to make sure you have a basic body which you drafted so this is my bodies and we're going to cut the half length of this baby is nine inches so with me here i have 10 inch one inch for seam allowance and this is my zip and to find the arm o of this child i use the round sleeve divided by two the round sleeve of this child is eight i measure the arm the round arm the upper arm is eight and half of it is four so that is what i use to find the bust the chest line okay for a child you say chest line i also have a video on my channel where i taught how to make a ball dress okay so we're going to be making a little twist on this one from the other one so making we are making this ball dress without a hard net okay we are only going to be working with our tool fabric so i'm going to cut out the fabric now and i'm also go ahead to cut out the satin lining half circle i'm going to be cutting this out on the half circle so i'll keep this aside for now let's cut all of this fabric out guys so now we are done cutting all of our patterns okay so i've cut out the half circle okay you should be able to know how to cut out the half circle so i have two half circles here okay so we are going to be cutting out two half circles i also have two lining each for the back so i have two lining okay can you see i have two lining for the back I also have two linings for the front okay so you should have all of your patterns all of your um, fabric cut like so so this is the back of the lace and this is the front of the lace okay so now I'm going to keep all of this aside now that we are done cutting I'm going to keep all of this aside then we're going to work on the we're going to be working on the tool so I'll keep this aside so we are going to work on the tool okay so now this tool like i said before is 10 years okay so which are folded nicely and you want to fold to make sure that they are all equal you want to fold to make sure that it's equal okay I hope you guys can see clearly the way I folded my tool. I folded everything equally. And you can see the length. This tool is very, very long. The length is like 60 or a little bit above 60. Can you see? It's the hole of the tape. The tool is as long as the hole of the tape, okay? So now what I'm going to do, because I'm going to be doing gathers and it's for a small baby, I'm going to start marking my length the length of my half circle so i'm going to take the length of my half circle is 16. the length of my half circle is 16. so i'm going to be cutting out 16 here as well so i'm going to cut out 16. 
you see this is 16 so you want to try to make this as straight as possible so I rule a straight line on that so I'm going to measure another 16 because I want to make the first layer to be 20 years okay so 16 again so this is very very easy to follow okay so that's 10 years cut that's another one. Okay. So can you see? I have each 16, 16 inches long, which is the same length of my tool, which is the same length of the half circle. Okay. This is 16 inches long. This is 16 inches. And I have a total of 10 years here and also 10 years. Together, they both make up 20 years. Can you see? So now I have 20 years all together, which I'm going to be sewing to the waist. Okay, so anyway, we're going to do the sewing together. First layer. So I'll keep that aside. Okay, I hope you guys are following me. Feel free to ask any questions that you want to ask. Okay, so now before I go ahead with this, I'm going to come here. I'm going to make, uh, I'm going to make some mark. So that I can know how many inches to cut out from the other one, from the other circle. Can you see? Because we are going to make our tool to become a tear. Okay? So because you, you really want to have that princess look, okay? So now that I have 20 years on my waist, so this is 16. Half of 16 is 8 inches. So I'm going to come down to uh, this part like so. So from it, from that part, I'm going to be cutting another layer of eight inches. Okay, so this is eight inches. So I'm going to mark so that I can have a nice, a nice. Um, uh, I don't know how to explain that. So I'm just going to mark that so that I can have a nice joining or a nice circle or a nice connection. Rather, I think that's the right word to use. So I can have a nice connection. So I'm going to mark that 8 inches all around. I'm going to be making another step here. So that is why I'm marking that. So it all depends on how dramatic you want your ball gown to be. You can have spaces of 2-2 two, two inches in between each tear. You see those ball gown that you see that are really, really dramatic. Okay, so you can go as low as the first step will stay on the waist. You go again 2 inches. 2 inch, 2 inch, 2 inch, up till you get to the end of the of the circle. So if you really want a dramatic uh, ball gown, that's how you achieve a dramatic ball gown. Okay? So this is going to be dramatic, but not too dramatic. Because the baby that owns this dress is not the celebrant, okay? <laughs> we don't want this child to outshine the celebrant. I hope you get what I'm saying. You get it? okay so this is going to be my second step so now because you see now the waist of this child is 24 inch 23 inches actually the waist of this child is 23 inches that 23 inches we are going to be sewing on these 20 years which i've cut out already okay so now i'm going to now take my tape measure i'll measure around this line i'm going to measure around this line okay can you see the way i'm measuring so I have 50 all together, okay? So I need to cut out a two that I'm going to gather that will be so full to take, to stay on this 50 inches wide, okay? So now I'm going to, the length that I need is 16 inches. It's 8 inches length. So I'll keep this aside for now. So I want to cut out 8 inch from our tool, which is going to be another layer, okay? So you want to make sure you arrange this as much as possible. So I'm going to cut out another 8 inch like so. Can you see? I hope you guys are following. If you have any questions, 
feel free to ask me in the comment section. I'll be right there in the comment section to <laughs> okay. Anyway, let's get serious guys. So this is eight inches. I'm going to cut this out, okay? And I hope you guys know the reason why I'm cutting this eight inches because that's how long my next tear is going to be. So let me just quickly show you guys. So that when we are sewing, we are just going to go, 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 go. You'll be able to follow up the sewing. Can you see? This uh, length, 8 inches, is going to stay on that mark which I made. So I'm going to gather it. I'm going to make a lot of gatherings around here. Can you see that? So that's why I cut out this 8 inches. It's going to stay on this line down to 8 inches. So I'll keep this aside. And remember, that particular space now is 50 inches. So I need to have a lot. So imagine the waist that is 24 inches. I already have 20 years on there. So now this first one that I've cut is also 10 years. So I need to have a lot so it can stay on that line. So 20 years. Let's see if 20 years will do for us. So... I have 20 years again of 8 inches long, okay? 20 years of 8 inch long. So just try as much as possible to arrange your tool. Okay, so let me see how many inches long that I have here so that I can know what next to do, where to place this. Remember, like I said, it all depends on how dramatic you want your ball gown. So, your ball gown can take up to 50 years, okay? Your ball gown can also take up to 30 years. If I really wanted this to be very, very dramatic, I'll buy 30 years straight, okay? But this is 10 years, and it also depends on the size of the child, okay? If the child was bigger than uh, 3, maybe a 6 years old, child i would have bought 10 years because i know it will be very short the tears i can create from the 10 years for six years will, will not be much so i have to buy 20 years straight okay so now let's see what we have here because i want to try as much as well to see if i can have another step so this is uh, 18 inches here okay so let's see if we can have another 8 inch, 8 inch, 8 inch. So let's start from here. This place looks more organized. So I need to organize it. You want to keep it as straight, as equal as possible. Inch. another 8 inch I hope you guys understand so I have 10 years of 8 inch in 3 places ok so this is 10 years of 8 inch long this is another 10 years of 8 inch long and also this is another 10 years of 8 inch long ok so automatically here I have 30 years right now so this is 10, 20, 30 so I have 30 years so I'm going to keep this together which I'm going to uh, gather with my arm needle with the help of my arm needle I'm going to gather it to I'm going to gather it to be 50 inches so you guys I guess we already know I got that 50 inches from this line is 50 inches so that's where we're going to be sewing this particular step on this tear on and this one that we previously cut is totally of 20 inch okay this is 20 inch and it's going to be staying on the waist you can see because we want it to have the princessa look okay so if you want it more dramatic you can have another more steps you can have more step maybe two or three three inches away from each other like the first step will be here three inches again two like that you keep going until you get to the end so you'll be ready to have like 50 years of two to be able to achieve that so now we're going to go over to the sewing and thank you guys for watching this video if you enjoy watching this video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to like to share and to subscribe to this channel guys and thank you guys for clicking on this video 
guys so here i'm just sewing the gather tool to the mark which we previously made okay so what i did is i'm going to sew it towards the bottom so i can turn it down just to cover up all of the rough edge okay so no matter what happens uh, the rough edge of your tool should not show on the good side okay so i just sewed it from the bottom part which i'm showing here and i turned it over to the front can you see so this is what you should do when you are making your tool as a layer okay so after doing this i'm going to go ahead to sew the other layer which is the one that is going to be staying on the waist okay so i make sure you gather this part to be really nice and full okay so here i've already gathered my tool to the waist as well so i have my two layers of two sewn in already so i'm just showing us here you can see how full this look already like i always say if you want it to be more dramatic create more layers okay so that means you're going to be needing more years of tool depends on the size of the child so this is it guys this is what it looks like so yeah i'm just trying to turn the lace with the lining i'm just keeping them both together so you can watch my other video the board dress video for you to uh, know how i did the finishing of these upper bodies i have a very detailed tutorial of how i did the finishing of the upper bodies to make it look like already made on the inside so i didn't do much in this video because this dress was done in a rush okay so i was not able to uh, get all the details on camera but i already have a detailed video where you can watch to know how i did the finishing so here is just a uh, a strip of fabric that i have tool that i cut two years wide and i had to gather them really really tight okay because there's a kind of design on the bodies the client sent to me so yeah i'm just sewing them sewing 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 onto the bodies just to create the effect like a clouding is like a clouding effect guys so yes the finished look i didn't have enough tool left so i just had to manage what i have left so here's the finished look of the clouding that i did on the body see yeah, if that makes sense and here's the finished look of the dress the board dress this is so beautiful guys so let me know if you are able to try this out let me know if you have any more questions feel free to ask me any questions that you have in the comment section and i'll be glad to answer every of your questions and look out for the link in the bio i'll be putting the link on the other board dress bye